Um, I'm here with Turkey Talk. This is a special edition because I am a, on a Wild Horse Music 11.11 tour right now. And we're going to go to uh, McCormick's Farm Lavender event. It is Sunsets and Lavender. And I am the special guest. <laughs> So, I'm really excited. I'm going to be pulling here and here in just a couple minutes. I'm on a back road. Don't worry. And I will be filming it, hopefully. Turn right. Yeah, see. Um, hopefully, I will have a little bit of time to walk around and show you guys, like, how awesome it is. Let's see if I have to turn right. Is this way I have to turn right? Um, no, keep going. Okay, keep going. I want, I want to do a little tour of the lavender farm though because it looks like it's going to be really super beautiful there. And so I might have to do a little bit of editing for this one. Me oh my. Take the next right. So, okay. Okay, Siri, I will. All right, here we go. I'm pulling in. Dun, 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 Okay, it's on the left, but I have to turn right. Take the next right onto Lance Lake Road, then turn right. Okay, here we go. Northern Michigan directions with. Does the navigator have a name? Is this Siri? Am I talking to Siri? It doesn't talk back. Okay, this is cool. I'm going on a trip road. Lots of potholes. That's Northern Michigan for ya. Take the next right. Here we go. We're pulling it. Oh my gosh, there's a guinea hen in the middle of the road. Do you guys see that? That's hilarious. Did you see that? There's a guinea hen. Okay, here it is. Dun, dun, dun. In oh, 600 feet, gosh. your destination will be on the right. It's so beautiful. Look at all those lavender plants. They're so pretty. I absolutely love lavender. Oh, look at it. They have little baby lavender plants everywhere. And big lavender plants. Oh, and there's lavender to our left. There's lavender to our right. I love this place. I secretly am hoping that they pay me in lavender because we had this talk yesterday. My sand, my, my sand is soil. My soil is sand. Okay, here, I gotta go. I think this is the lady. Okay. Here, um, this is the lavender field behind me. I thought I was an arugula farmer, but I think I might actually be a lavender farmer at heart. This place is awesome. I absolutely love it already. I wish I could tell you a little bit more about the plants. I don't know like what specific types they are, but I can assure you they grow in sand. <laughs> it, it is beautiful. It, it's, it's sandy for miles around here. So I'm really excited. This is a benefit for the Women's Resource Center. And this is the beautiful tent they have set up. I should show you the bathroom. It's amazing. It's like a porta potty. And then they have these really cute. Oh, look, if I can wander in here. They have these. Sorry. Here's a close up of the lavender. I don't want to walk on their rose, but. And it smells so good out here. But it's really cool. They've got. I don't know if you can see behind me. They have some food trucks. But everything's really super classy. I feel like I'm at a wedding right now. And I had a lavender colored dress that I was going to wear, but I washed it by hand last night and I just couldn't get all the dirt out of it. So I put on another dress and it's blue. I feel a little bit out of place because everybody's walking around in these really pretty lavender colored things. Uh, not that you can tell because I'm in black and white. But what's, what's really cool is back behind me right there, <laughs> there is a, there's this, this um, whatever they call those, those like shipping containers, and they painted it purple. It is really cool. So I'll just, I'll take you for a little sneak peek behind here because I have to go set up and play. 
like very soon. Go do sound check and stuff. So this is the tent. Right here. And then I'm on the stage back there. It's like a wedding tent. So, all right, that's it for right now. I'll be back. So I'm set up here, which is very nice. I'm on a beautiful stage. He's. I just talked to the uh, farmer who owns the place, and he's going to give me a little tour of the distillery. I'm so excited to share that with you guys. I ran into a little complication, which is... I forgot my piano stand so I'm going to have to improv three hours of music off the top of my head which I can do you know, actually it'll probably sound way more amazing than if I was reading the sheet music or playing the tabs but <laughs> that is what happened oh geez but that's what being a musician is about. Well, that's what being a human is about. You have to just roll with the punches. So, I'm going to do that. Just a little update. Okay, so I'm doing sound check. I think I'll set it up a little bit. We'll get a little bit of me playing. And I'll save some of my battery so I can get an interview with the farmer himself. And he's going to show us his equipment and... Basically, I'm just really excited for tonight. So, here it goes. Another totally unexpected and awesome thing, I think, is that there was this thunderstorm that came through and it started just going crazy, absolutely crazy here. And it's probably my fault because I always bring storms. So I'm sorry about that, but I think everybody bought their tickets ahead of time, hopefully. So they were planning it with me. But here's a little plan of what's going on right now. Like, I hope it's okay I catch people on camera. Did you hear that thunder? <laughs>
the Women's Resource Center here tonight, and I know that they're mingling amongst you, and so if you'll greet them and say hello. Um, we wanted to mostly just welcome you to the farm. Um, this dream is only probably six or seven years old, but uh, you're helping us live it, so we appreciate it. And it goes to a good cause tonight, and so I'm really humbled and thankful that you're part of that too. Uh, I'd like to bring up Dawn. I don't know if anybody knows who this is. <laughs> Just uh, thank you uh, very much for, for coming and supporting us over the last uh, two years uh, of insanity. And, uh, and uh, I, I actually just uh, want to bring up uh, the Women's Resource Center to let them, to let you know a little bit more about the work that they're doing uh, in Northern Michigan, uh, the programs they offer. Uh, one of the reasons uh, that we uh, chose to be involved with the Women's Resource Center of Northern Michigan is because they have uh, a hundred uh, man group. And so it also gave Matt an opportunity to be actually really involved um, rather than just uh, in, in name and writing a check. There's the, the organization uh, finds a unique way to uh, embrace everybody's talents and, uh, and value. And uh, we're grateful for the work that you do. Uh, we're grateful for the lives you save. And uh, we're, we're happy to be a part of that. So if you would uh, join us, um, well, thank you. She's the executive director of the uh, Women's Resource Center for Northern Michigan. Yeah, so thank you so much for being here, and thank you for having us and for putting on this amazing event in uh, honor of the Women's Resource Center of Northern Michigan. We really appreciate it. Thank, thank you. you so much. We're so happy. Thank you. Thank you. We are doing you pick in field one, uh, so don't hesitate to go get your bundle. Uh, if your lavender is dry or if it's wet, uh, when you cut it and bundle it, when you go home, um, lay it out flat so that it dries and your bundle does not mold. And then you can rebundle. So I don't want moldy bundle. <laughs> uh, so, uh, but please uh, explore, have fun, take photos. Uh, for those of you that are coming back tomorrow, uh, we're uh, doing uh, make your own bath bombs, make your own sugar scrubs, make your own lavender wands, you pick, live music all day, food trucks, vendors, local artisans and makers. Um, so uh, thank you very much to our sponsors, uh, to our friends and supporters, our photographers, uh, Ash Miracle, who has worked with us so generously over the last five years. And uh, so thank you all so much for everything. Enjoy. And there's lavender cookies. <laughs> so I'll tell you, just in case you don't know about the Women's Resource Center of Northern Michigan. We are a nonprofit organization. We were founded in 1977 by a group of volunteer women who decided supportive services should be available for women. And so we started with kind of core services for domestic violence survivors, and then we've grown from that. So we also support survivors of sexual assault. We support uh, child survivors of child abuse, neglect, and um, sexual assault. We have a safe home where folks who are fleeing an unsafe situation can come and stay bring their um, kiddos in with them, and it's really a spot where they can get those services that they need to help them become whole again and independent. So um, we start that, that's our core services. Our Children's Advocacy Center um, is a place where kiddos can go and have a forensic interview. So instead of being interviewed by law enforcement with all of their gear on, it's somebody dressed very similar to me. It's a very comfortable spot for kiddos to come, have an interview, and hopefully it's comfortable enough for them to make a disclosure if there is a disclosure that needs to be made. So that's our, our uh, probably our newest thing that we're doing. And then um, Dawn mentioned our 100 men. 
So we have a 100 men campaign, and we are really looking at men to be our allies. And when I say allies, I mean really actionable allies. That you're in the community, you're standing up, you're saying something when you see something inappropriate. Um, and we kind of help with those tools and help with that language. So if you're interested in that, um, you certainly can get involved with our 100 Men campaign. All of our information is on our website. So if you go to wrcnm.org, you can learn more about us. Um, we have offices in Petoskey, Sheboygan, Mancelona, and in Taylor. So we serve five different counties. So we're in the area. We're so happy um, to be here today and just to make those connections with a whole new group of people. So we really appreciate it. Um, thank you. On your um, tables, our little QR code, if you are interested in making a donation, um, you can scan that and it's pretty easy peasy. Um, Kari and I are available here. We're gonna be here for a while tonight. If you have any questions, don't hesitate. Just come up and talk to us. So thank you very much. We appreciate all of your support.